Hey, this is David with Automotive Circuit Solutions. Today I got two front electronic modules for a 2003 and a 2005 for Thunderbird. Uh, they got very similar issues. The driver's window doesn't operate, dash lights not working, headlights not working, dome light not working, shift console lights not working. Uh, indicator light for open door is on even though the doors are closed uh, that could be a, a separate issue uh, possibly with the gauge cluster and then remote button for trunk in the bottom of driver's seat not working uh, so that likely is also a separate issue and then this one convertible top windows, door locks, horn, headlights, turn signal, brake lights will not work. So it sounds like this one also has uh, issues that might not be related to the front electronic module because these, uh, let's see, brake lights, turn signals, the front ones are in the front electronic module, the rear, all the rear lights are in the rear electronic module. So we're going to go ahead and plug these in into our test car here and uh, just confirm what issues they do have. the module is plugged in let's uh first one we have in is the 2005 for thunderbird module with these issues so let's test them all right headlights no headlights no high beams no turn signals My rear uh, turn signals out. That's why it's hyper flashing. All right. Uh, oh, headlights are flashing on and off. I've seen this before. Oh, well, they're not flashing. Oh, I guess the dumb lights don't flash. Either way, uh, so that issue is confirmed. Now let's test the convertible top. Got no function. Let's check the no function from the windows. Let's try the passenger one. The passenger will work because that's an issue. If the passenger one does not work, that's an issue with the rear electronic module. So the front electronic module controls the left side and the rear controls the right side. Okay, brake lights will not work. Brake lights are working. And engine runs rough and uses a lot of gas. <clears throat> so the front electronic module cannot affect the performance of the engine. There's nothing in there that actually the these cars will run just fine without the front electronic module. So that is definitely another issue that they need to look into. All right, let's pull this one out. Get the 
put the next one in. Issues that this one has almost the same issue except for the door ajar indicator which uh, this car does have this car actually has that with um, all the modules we've ever plugged into it this gauge cluster is likely the problem and if it's not that it's the door ajar switches so we still didn't make a video on pulling this cluster out. We just got this car a few weeks ago. Uh, we're going to pull the cluster out and get that fixed so the door ajar light will go away. Alright, so let's confirm this one's issues. Headlights don't work. Dome light works. battery just died. Well, it's low anyway. Alright, we'll just go ahead and get these modules repaired and then we'll retest afterwards. Okay, so we got this module repaired and now it's back in the car. And let's just confirm that everything works. So headlights are working, high beam, low beam, both sides, the illumination is working. Now let's see what else, convertible top. Is working. Driver's door window is working. Passenger was working. Uh, brake lights still work. Horn works. Turn signals. Those did not work. And then of course the engine runs rough is not an issue in the front electronic module. So this one is done. Let's try it. let's get the next one in there. Okay, now this module is installed. Headlights. Cluster lights work. High beam, low beam, turn signal, works, and driver's door, works, convertible top, works, dome light, jar light is a separate issue I'm going to contact the customer about that one and the trunk issue is also something I'm going to discuss with him but this front electronic module is repaired so if you have any of these issues let us know that wraps it up for this video thanks for watching